my last two term, my last two numbers of my binomials gave me this box, which is negative one. And then we don't know what two numbers gave us these, but we're going to write in our negative 2x and positive x. So now what I need to do is I need to figure out what two not what binomials multiply to give me this area. So I could write 2x and x. Right? So if I wrote 2x times x, we know 2x times x gives you 2x squared. However, 2x times what gives you x? And obviously that answer is going to be 1 half. And we don't really want to be dealing with uh, fractions right now. We only want to be dealing with our integers. So what I'm going to do is since there's no other numbers that multiply to give me 2x, I'm just going to rearrange that to 2x times x. Because now looking at it, 2x times x gives you 2x squared. 2x times what gives you negative 2x? That's minus 1. Then x times 2x, x times x times what gives you x? That's going to be a positive 1. So now what I've had is a 2x plus 1, I can write as one binomial, times x minus 1 is my other binomial. If I were to multiply these out by using FOIA or whatever technique, am I going to get what's inside of here? And the answer is yeah. 2x times x gives you 2x squared. 1 times negative 1 gives you negative 1. So therefore then, I can simply also just write down my 5. And now what I have completely factored out uh, my expression. And that's how you factor when you have a trinomial and factor on number.